There's an 80% chance of a recession and as economists go, that's pretty certain. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. In this video, I'm going to tell you about three economic phenomenon, a recession, an inflation and a stagflation. What you should do as an investor, what companies you should buy and what companies you should avoid. Let's get started. So first of all, usual disclaimer here, I'm not a SEBI registered expert, I'm not a certified financial planner, I'm just the person who has made a reasonable amount of money in the last three years of investing. Even in this current bear market, my portfolio isn't too bad. However, I wasn't investing during the years of 2007 and 2009, which was the last proper bear market. So you should use this video as a collection of useful resources and not as a rule set. Anyway, before we get into the video, we have to talk about one man. Paul Adolf Walker. He is a German descent American and he was the Federal Reserve Chair during the year of 1979, also known as the year of the Great Stagflation. Anyway, during his tenure, inflation in the US went up to a peak of 14.8%. Just picture that, even with 8.6%, all of us are going crazy and back then it was literally double that. Anyway, during his tenure, he managed to raise the interest rates to a peak of 20%. He didn't just throw a man into the water, he held him down there until he learned how to swim. He considers his greatest contribution the gold currency conversion issue. He practically killed the machine tools industry in the US and at one point of time, he was the most hated man in America. Anyway, now let's get into the video. The first concept that we should understand is recession, the R word. Two straight quarters of negative GDP and we are in a recession as of June 30th, 2022. A recession is a period in which there's a general slowdown in economic activity and it's bad for a consumer. As an investor, the kind of companies that you should buy include healthcare, consumer staples and boring companies like food processors. An example of a company that you should invest in would be something like Johnson & Johnson. As an investor, the companies that you should avoid during a recession would include leisure companies, hospitality companies and automotive companies. An example would be something like a whale resorts. The second concept that you should be aware of as an investor is inflation, the I word. Inflation in the US is at 8.6%, the highest it's been in the last 40 years. Inflation is a situation in which there's too much money and too few goods and services and therefore the prices go up. Consumers hate inflation. However, as an investor, you should invest in companies that are real estate based, commodity based or energy based. By the way, the Oracle of Omaha has poured billions of dollars into the energy sector this year alone. An example of a stock that you should invest in would be something like Occidental Petroleum and companies that you should avoid during an inflation would include consumer discretionary companies, unprofitable companies and companies that are there in the leisure sector. An example of companies that you should avoid during an inflation would be something like a footlocker. The third and final concept that you should be aware of is stagflation. Now, stagflation is the best or the worst of both worlds. Basically, it's a combination of recession and inflation. Stagflation is a situation in which prices are high, economic activity is low and unemployment is high. Now, stagflation is really painful for the consumer, but as an investor, the kind of companies that you can invest in include companies that have a strong balance sheet and a strong cash flow. By strong cash flow, I mean companies that can actually convert their sales into proper cash, not accounting profits. By a strong balance sheet, I mean companies that have limited debt. An example of a company that you can buy during a stagflation would be something like Berkshire Hathaway. Companies that you should avoid during stagflation are growth companies. These companies might be profitable in the future and we will definitely invest in them at that time. Anyway, there you have it. Three economic concepts, recession, inflation and stagflation and what you can do as an investor. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.